Hello, what's up? Welcome back to our corner and this is Ali. On this video, we'll answer questions we have received regarding the latest gold hen and uh, we'll also show how to update and provide workarounds to those who are having issues updating. We'll also address the questions, do I need to update to this version or is it time for me to update my PS4 to install gold hen? And also, I would like to give emphasis on one of the tools that we use for the latest jailbreak which is the PPPWN GUI 1.8. Because on the early days of this exploit, I never really had some luck activating my jailbreak using this tool. But on my surprise, when I had to use this to update to the latest gold hen, I was able to jailbreak my PS4 on almost the very first try on many attempts I did when I was testing the latest gold hen. So if you are still having some issues activating the jailbreak, and are looking for an alternative tool, you may want to give this GUI a chance and maybe you'll be satisfied as well. First, let us answer the question, do I need to update to this version or is it time to update to 9.60 to be able to install Gold Hen? Well, according to the developers, the next Gold Hen won't have an ETA. So it may take some time for the next version to arrive. But I would highly recommend to check the list of PS4 models and their compatibility first if you want to update since some PS4 models are having issues using the jailbreak on a specific version depending on your PS4 it may be wiser to just simply wait on your current version I will just leave a link on our description for our video where we discuss the PS4 models and their compatibility with the PPPWN exploit but if you have verified your PS4 to be completely compatible with this exploit regardless of the version then you may want to update to 9.60 now to be able to jailbreak your PS4 now if you are thinking of updating to this latest gold hand version since you only need to do it once I would recommend updating to this version based on our test we find this version to be very stable and in case you decide to use the servers if you're already on this version, then you won't have any issues using the server. Now let us go ahead and show you how to update the gold hen and provide some workarounds. First, let us go ahead and download the latest gold hen. You will find the link on our description. So just open the link and you will also find the changes that this new release brings. Now to download, Simply click on this part and enter any amount from zero to any value. Then just click on get now. Just fill up this information, then hit on check out now. Then click on view content, then download. And now for our GUI, all credits to modded warfare for bringing this GUI to us and bringing some great developments and updates. Now to download, simply click on this part. After downloading, let us go ahead and extract them. First, let us go ahead and prepare our USB to update our gold henna. For our storage, it has to be formatted to either XFAT or FAT32. On this case, we are going to use our USB formatted with FAT32. Now just go ahead and drag and drop the gold bin on the root of your hard drive. Then overwrite. Now on the same folder, we will also find the stage 2bin that is uh, compatible to load the latest gold henna. So open this folder, extract this folder, and choose the version of your PS4. Now let us go ahead and open the GUI. Simply go ahead and click this application. If this is the first time that you will be using this GUI, you will have to install the NPCAP first. And to install NPCAP, simply click on this part and install. Now, if you're having some issues installing NPCAP using this link, you will also find the link on our description where to download the latest NPCAP. Now, once the NPCAP has been installed, all you have to do is uh, connect your PS4 to your PC directly using a LAN cable. And it has been tested that using a better LAN cable will provide a better results. So if you are not getting any good results, you may definitely want to change your LAN cable. You can also check the link on our description for a video on how to fix issues when trying to install PPPWN on your PS4. 
and if you have done everything on your end but still you can't activate the exploit then you may also want to check the compatibility of your ps4 you will also find the link on our description for a video of a list of ps4 models and their compatibility with the latest exploit now to set the gui just click on this part and load the stage 2 for your version on my end it's 9.00 so i will go ahead and use this or you can just simply go ahead and drag and drop your stage to that bin on this part. You can also click on settings to modify some settings for the GUI. Now once we are done here, we can go ahead and prepare our PS4. On our PS4, after we insert the USB or external hard drive, we have to make sure that the PS4 can recognize our hard drive first. The best way to do that is just simply go on the capture gallery and try to transfer anything on your external hard drive. If you can transfer anything and you are not getting any errors, then you can use that hard drive to update your PS4. Now let us go ahead and set up our PS4 for the PPPWN. So let's go to the network settings, set up internet connection, use LAN cable, custom, PPPOE, Use a random user ID and password. Click next. Automatic. Automatic. Do not use. Then back here. And from here, we can go ahead and run the GUI. Now, like what we have mentioned earlier, even if you don't have plans to update your gold hand, you may also want to try this GUI if you are not having a good enough results on the current tools that you are using. Personally, I am quite satisfied with the stability of this GUI. Now simply hit on run exploit to start the jailbreak. To those who are simply updating their gold hand, if the jailbreak was successful but you see the old gold hand, make sure that you are using the correct stage 2 that was made for the latest gold hand. If you are using other tools that load stage 2 automatically, we have to wait for their updates to support the latest gold hand. But if you are already using the right tools but still can't load the latest gold hand, try inserting the USB to a different USB port on your PS4. And if you can't activate the jailbreak, simply check the video on our description for a video on how to fix errors when trying to activate the jailbreak and also for the compatibility list for the latest exploit. Now you will get this message as an indication that the latest gold hen has been saved on your PS4. You only have to do this once. The next time you jailbreak your PS4, it will automatically load the latest gold hen until you update it again. So this will be it for now. If you have any questions or suggestions, please go ahead and share them on our comment section and I will gladly address them. And again, my name is Ali. If you find this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.